Um, special effects whiz Sir Richard Taylor, who's just back from promoting the new Hobbit movie overseas. He's never taken cameras through. I can't quite believe this myself. He's never taken cameras mm. through the workshop until now. He invited Jahan Casanada for a journey inside the world of Weta. This is home, Richard. Yeah, yeah, this is second home, but probably spend far more hours here than in mine and Tanya's own home. What so. time did you arrive this morning? Uh, got in at six this morning. It's fantastic to just kick off the day with gusto and delight. So. Does it ever get boring? No, never. We're very, very blessed. We get to build really cool things for a living. We work with really amazing clients, and uh, we're a bunch of friends in this little corner of the world in Miramar, Wellington, New Zealand, but we've had Rock stars, politicians, royalty, the head of the FBI came through once. This is the hot seat where I run our part of our company from. I dreamed as a kid of being surrounded by sculpture. I aspired to one day have lots of cool stuff. And so I started making models. You must be one of the busiest people in this city. Uh, potentially. Potentially? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we run five businesses. I travel the world every six to ten weeks chasing work. There's a misconception that people must just come to us. That's not the case at all. There is little life outside of what we do here, and neither would we want much life outside of this. It's incredibly fulfilling. There's the Tangi Wai train up there. Second-hand car assembly robot from England. Then Jordan converted it into a milling machine. So there's a lot of DIY, isn't there? It's actually about 90% DIY. Now, there's a lot of secret stuff in here that we can't talk about, right? Mm -hmm. Secret, secret stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty impressive catalogue. We've done a lot of stuff. There's very, very few people in the building with a tertiary education and what they do here on the floor. We hire for passion, enthusiasm, tenacity, and then talent. It's never about qualifications. It's about a can-do attitude, a love of making. I call it blue sky dreaming. I love the ability to just dream of what can be. What would it be like to actually spend a day inside your head? It's a very busy head, as you can imagine. You can't do it at half measures. It's 100% or not at all. And uh, you do have to keep an extremely heightened level of energy. It's been a tough year for, for all of us. Uh, it fluctuates. It's a crazy roller coaster we're all on. Do you think that's taken a toll on you? Oh, of course. Yeah, it does on anyone. We live a modest life outside of our life here. Yeah, my hobby is driving miniature steam engines. How cool is that? Are you surprised at where you've ended up? Um, yes, constantly. Standing here with Pete, watching him make a sword, one of the most sacred swords from Tolkien's writing. You know, it's... <laughs> Still still, have those moments. You've still got to pinch yourself that we should be so fortunate to get to do this in this part of the world. Does it get emotional sometimes? Uh, yep. It gets emotional when we finish a project. That's really hard. Actually leaving behind the characters that you've grown to love and create. And there's work happening now in Avatar? There is, In yeah. this building? Yes, there is. Yeah, it's just terrific. Do you get nervous? Of course, yeah. What are you course. nervous about? Um, uh, letting down our clients and letting down our crew. I believe that the day I'm not nervous about it is the day I should pack it up and go home because uh, you've become complacent. There's an old saying that nice guys finish last. <laughs> you are <laughs> notoriously I've nice. That one. <laughs> Do nice guys finish last? Well, I don't see this about uh, whether you make a significant financial gain. This is about a creative journey that's got to be rewarding in the moment. My objective is never to actually finish the race, so I can probably never decide whether the nice guys <laughs> finish last. Uh, it would be nice if I could still be running the race a number of years from now. Stay amazing, amazing guy, eh? Stacey,